Hi, Far Starter here, and welcome to my review of the SH Vergard's Mask Rider Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper from Kamen Rider Kabuto. And uh, just to let you know, this one is the first edition or first release of Punch Hopper. Well, this one is the re released or reissued um, figure Kick Hopper. So, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see the sides for both Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper. They almost look the same, but they have this certain feel to it. So as the other side. And at the back, we have some of the poses for Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper. Like so, and they share one photo here because they obviously go together. Or they should be good. It should they should be going together. So that's it. Only for the first uh, issued uh, figures, um, like for example, Punch Hopper. Punch Hopper has this banner here that says uh, it has a, his own stand, just like this. So, but uh, for the reissued um, figure, um, it doesn't have any banner, and this one is less with a stand okay so that's all about the box let's open and then let's take a look on both punch hopper and anigi kick hopper and we have the hell brothers punch hopper and kick hopper well definitely they have the same um, articulation points and the same um, mold except that of course punch hopper has a more um, tarnished brown or bronze combination while um, kick hopper has a green metallic finish and i think for the first time i mean or for the last time this is the only sh regards i know that had metallic paint apps almost like it's 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 like die cast um like you can see here it's too shiny if you try to um place it under a bright light you can see that this one is in really metallic paint. The rest of the parts of um, Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper are just a matte finish. But this, you haven't seen this for quite a while. Um, I'm not so sure if there are other SH Regards that I have reviewed that has this um, almost a die cast feel on the parts, but at least. We remember Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper having these kind of paint apps. And um, since they are the first um, or the two figures that came out after Kamen Rider the next, they, I mean, Bandai went all out and doing a lot of good things about Punch Hopper and Kick Hopper from Kabuto. Now, um, some of the accessories that they have is just plain and simple. We have two ramen um, bowls and then two open hands and two like splice hands so we have here splice hands they almost look like Kabuto's uh, gloves it's just that it's painted differently so this one is for kick hopper obviously because it's green and the other one is for punch hopper so this is the sort of relaxed semi chopping hands just to give you a closer look and of course the bowls the ramen bowls and um, this shows that SH Figure Arts or Bandai is really um, serious about doing SH Figure Arts well after a year we all know how that went uh, we're getting a lot of them nowadays and uh, SH Figure Arts have been popular because of the fine details that you have or you can get even for the smallest accessories and this one this two ramen bowls just gave the whole future of sh figure arts now articulation going back let me just see you there um now we see a, a real good set of compound eyes some of the um possibilities are very familiar with um, the old Kabuto SHFs. Um, I don't have any problems in terms of um, articulation points since most of them are really nicely done. And um, of course, Punch Hopper has this 
um, punchy thingy grasshopper leg that goes up and down and then it has another um, swivel to complete the whole look and it's smaller because uh, it's for punch hopper but for cake hopper kinda huge you know I'm in serious business and I'm going to punch you and kick you till you die then sorry about that it's me I'm depressed and uh, you see here um, the grasshopper engine belts there's no jewels in the middle of the belt or the engine device it's just that it's well detailed and um, really worth um, looking at especially that uh, most of the SHF nowadays have more detail but let's give credit to these two guys um, aside from the Kamen Rider and the next figures that they paved the way to greatness in the SHF line and of course uh, last but not the least one of the accessories that came with either or is the Tamashi stand it looks like Tamashi stage 1 or 2 it's a combination of both before SHF or Bandai um, had the stages um, made sellable in the market but um, this this comes to this comes in two ways, or in two set or in two like parts. We have the stiff movable um, stand, and then we have two kinds of clips. We have the usual clip that we try to insert or peg in on top, and there's one here at the bottom. I think this is more for the flying kicking poses and this one is just for letting the figure stand and then we have your SH figure arts punch hopper and a blurb here that I don't know because I don't read kanji or katakana but this is for Kamen Rider punch hopper so let's put him aside so basically it's really hard to not get the other um, they do come they should be coming in pairs when you get punch hopper it's inevitable that you have kick hopper as well um, I don't see them being separated when you uh, try to find one and nowadays kick hopper is the um, most most of affordable be, be, be between the two because it has been re-released this year unlike punch hopper we just saw it released once so Pawn Chopper now becomes a rare figure, unlike Kick Hopper over here. Let's give credit to this too. Um, I we thank you guys for paving the way to greatness in the SHF line. So do grab one now, and uh, if you can still can, if you can still get them both. It took me a while to um, get Pawn Chopper in a reasonable price because it, it's now considered rare uh, yeah, it's hard to find punch hopper nowadays unlike his hopper his hopper you can easily find that on ebay so that's all my review about shf punch hopper and kick hopper if you want to know the post builders for this figure do check out the photos at the end of the video and do subscribe to my blog spot for the full written review don't forget to hit subscribe here and it's free again this is firestarter thank you very much for watching and until my next review